What's going on, hog fans? This is Jake Heinrich here, Urbandale, Iowa native, current NWA resident, University of Arkansas graduate, and former Razorback scout team football player. If you know me, you know that I've always loved sports, I love talking sports, especially the hogs. So I've got about 10, 20 minutes to kill in between working from home here and Figured I'd go ahead and give anyone who's wanting to listen a preview, or at least my opinions, on the uh, upcoming bowl game this weekend. I'm going to call this Heinrich's Hog Walk. Hope that's not trademarked. If anybody's uh, see what I'm doing there, kind of playing words with the team's Hog Walk. Anyway, let's jump right into it. First and foremost, let's hope this game happens. Um certainly not planning on beginning my uh, sports commentary career by opining on the severity of COVID. But if you've been paying attention lately, I'm sure you've noticed games getting canceled recently. So cross your fingers, knock on wood, fold your hands, whatever you'd prefer. And let's just hope this one happens. With that being said, I've obviously got a skeleton production staff here, and we're going one take. We're doing it live. It's a great reference. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't. But here are my notes. Number one, key to the game. We're going to do three keys. Number one, replacing Burks. Whoa, newsflash, right, Captain Obvious? That's uh, earth-shattering, isn't it? But... Um, oddly enough, being a former lineman myself, I'm the first one to, uh, to admit, and I believe that more often than not is the case that big plays, especially in big games, bowl game being a big game, often um, disproportionately influence the outcome of the game. You know, this is a, this is a game where weather hopefully isn't going to be a factor. This is a game where um, everybody should be healed up from any nagging injuries that they may have accumulated throughout the season. So replacing Burks is gonna be key. With that, it's great to have Tyson Morris suiting up, somebody I know well, somebody um, I spent a lot of time with during my time on the team. Davion Warren as well is a, a tremendous big play threat. Guy's got straight line speed, good hands, and then Warren Thompson as well, someone who has um, really stepped up as of late and can certainly stretch the field himself. I think taking the top off of this Penn State defense, hopefully more than once, is going to be a key to winning this game. I know that our running of the ball this year has been tremendous to say the least, but momentum is critical and along with that comes big plays, particularly through the air. So, we need some people to step up and replace Burks. And I think that was about as obvious as I could say. Moving on to something that's um, not quite as, um, as obvious, for lack of a better word. I know I'm repeating myself, but again, we're, we're weighing it here. Defensive leadership, especially in the box, is going to be critical. Grant, G Money Morgan, former roommate of mine. Everybody uh, knows him, everybody loves him. I've said for a few years now that he should never pay for a meal in this state again. I have no doubt that he is gonna go out with one of, if not his best performances in a Razorback uniform. He's a great leader. He is uh, as sure a thing tackling wise as there is in the country. And he, uh, he can really fly around and he can change the game with his physicality and his smarts. Bumper pool, you know, need I say more? A tremendous athlete, another leader as well. And somebody who really makes his presence felt from sideline to sideline. He's gonna be huge in containment. You know, to uh, circle back to point number one, we'd like to keep them in front of us. Got a UPS truck behind me. We'd like to keep them in front of us. And Bumper is someone who uh, aids tremendously in that effort. 
Hayden Henry, uh, you know, fan favorite, Little Rock guy, is just a junkyard dog. I mean, there's no two ways about it. The guy, uh, the guy makes tackles for loss quite frequently. He forces fumbles. He's physical as can be, and I think um, I think he's going to make a tremendous impact in this game at one point or another. Hopefully, early and often. Finally, um, a new guy, someone who I really have enjoyed watching all year long. John Ridgeway, Big Ridge, with the wrestler, former wrestler and myself. If you're in Arkansas, you're probably not a wrestler because it's not big around here. But needless to say, he's done a tremendous job this year. And I believe he's going to push the pocket. I believe he's going to get to the quarterback at least once. Maybe the running back for a TFL. But I think Big Ridge is going to get home and really, uh, really shut down a drive or two at some point during this game. Finally, we've got KJ. KJ is someone who, um, if we're being honest, has been a surprise this year. I've always thought he was a tremendous player. I've said he um, he's a great leader. The guys really respect him. He's got a big arm. But one thing that perhaps people didn't anticipate is how excellent his decision-making has been this year. Only three interceptions the whole year. That's very notable. That's uh, got to be near the top in the entire country, especially for someone who's played an SEC West schedule and the, uh, the non-conference slate that we've had. So we don't need him to... Uh, do anything earth shattering we don't need him to throw for 600 yards or rush for five touchdowns but more of the same out of kj is going to be good for us i think that he uh i think that he takes care of the ball very well and hopefully that continues if he can control the clock if he can calm everybody down and complete passes build momentum early on that's going to only allow us to further open up the game on the ground and uh, ultimately lead us to what I believe will be victory. So, with all that being said, my official prediction, if you can read this, Hogs 31, Penn State 17. If you enjoyed this video, that's awesome. If you didn't, so be it. Roast me, toast me, whatever you want to do. But I was just um, looking to give you all a few words on the hogs. And there you have it. I think we're in good shape. And um, hopefully we'll have something to celebrate here in about 51 or two hours. It's currently 1030 on Thursday. Again, Hogs are going to win 31 to 17. I have total faith in them and Coach Pittman. And let's just hope it happens so we can get back in the, uh, the win column bowl wise and complete what has been an otherwise awesome year. So thanks everybody and go Hogs.